All uh, praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash, the by honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. All uh, praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I want to talk about how, you know, Everything have exceptions to the rules. The Lord deals with the young man and the young woman. You know, so like your parents, your grandparents, if they still alive. <laughs> this truth is not for them. And all you can do is pray for people like that and hope that, you know, the Lord have mercy upon them. But yeah, that's about as far as it going to go, because all through the scriptures, it talks about the young man, you know, coming to get this truth while in your youth. So I want to start off with this. Uh, I think it's I think I think it's this. It said, "When his candle shine upon my head, what do the candle represent? This, this light. Uh, another adjective that the truth is represented as the light, water, you know, bread, you know, honey." A whole bunch of adjectives. So it says, when his when his candle, whose candle? Yahweh Bashim Abishai, shine upon my head. And when by his light, I walk through darkness, because this is where we at right now. Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will not fear no evil. Your rod and your staff comfort me, which is these scriptures. As I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of the Most High was upon my tabernacle. So yeah, this is when... Majority of us receive the truth, you know, so usually I'll always say like in your mid 20s, that's where the Lord, you know, come into your life. You know, he'll make us he will make a path that the truth enter in because like most most brothers that I talk to is always been around that uh, mid 20s. And then even when I like even Apostle Tahar, he, he he's going into his 40th year. He said that he came in the truth when he was like 26, you know. So, um, I write unto you fathers because you know him that is from the beginning. I write unto you young men because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you little children because you have, because you have known the father. So yeah, the young man. We overcome the wicked one through this word, you know, through our faith. Can't nothing. Can't nobody take my pride. Can't nobody. Can't even sing Diddy right now. <laughs> but anyways, but yeah, so we overcome the wicked one, man, through this word. Because the Lord blessed us with the truth. Now we're living life with without the expectation like everybody else have like everybody else in this world got expectation of this world like they got dreams and aspirations our dream and aspiration is to make it to the kingdom all right that's why i said um wherever your heart is show where your treasures be also you know and our and our treasures in the kingdom of heaven man we hope to make it so we do what we need to do to the best of our ability to make it you know on the other side so um it says I have written unto you fathers because you know, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of the most high abideth in you and you have overcome the wicked one. Now in the scriptures, it says that the, um, the old man is, is known for his wisdom and the young man for his strength. You know, um, even though our apostles is so diligent. But you have young men who know go on the highways and byways, you know, a few times a week because you were a young man. You were able to do that. You know, I I used to go out a couple of times a week, but my work schedule changed, you know. So. um, But we can do that because we young. Now. We really would be young. If we was actually eating, you know, real foods with nutrients and vitamins and proteins, the stuff that we need. But, you know, I'm 36 years old and some days I feel like I'm 56. 
So it says, my son, gather instruction from your, from your youth up. So you shall find wisdom to thy own age. So this is why, you know, the Lord deals with the young man. If there are exceptions to the rules, you have had men come in when they was older, you know. That's what you call mercy right there. Cause that usually don't, that's not usually the way that things happen, but you know, so you're supposed to get it from, you know, your young age. And then as years go on, increase in wisdom. So it don't, it don't happen. You get it in, you get wisdom in your old age. All right. And then, you know, it don't work that way for, uh, usually it don't work that way, you know? <sighs> So really, this video is like an exhortation to the young to the young man out here that's playing games. If you has gathered nothing in your youth, how can you find anything in your age? See, so that's why the Lord said he he um he can't put new wine in new wine bottles. No, matter of fact, let me get that. I think I said it wrong. And no man put of new wine, because remember, that's another adjective for symbolize the truth, all right? And no man put of new wine into old bottles, else the new wine do burst the bottles, because we used to use skins, all right? And the fermented wine would cause the skins to stretch to the point that the wine start to seep out, all right? And that's what happened, because imagine... A man that's 55 years old coming across the truth. He's already indoctrinated. He already believed what he believed. And especially if he in church, if he's if he's praising Jesus. All right. Then yeah, it's, it's a ninety nine point nine 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 percent chance that he ain't going to get this truth. All right. Them old them old people in the church, man. Forget about it. So it says. And the wine is spilled, and the bottles be, will be marred, which is destroyed. But new wine, but new wine must be put into the new bottles. The ones who haven't lived life that long, and haven't been indoctrinated that much, you know. Young men have a chance. So it said, who is simple? Who so simple? Let him turn in hither. As for him that one of understanding, she saith to him, she is wisdom. Come eat of my bread and drink of my wine, which I have mingled. See, bread, wine, represent the truth. Forsake the foolish and live and go into the way of understanding. You know, so the Lord have given us chance. The mercy that this Lord, I said that this Lord, the mercy that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have bestowed upon us. We got to praise the Lord more and more and be appreciative, you know. And then when I'm when I'm speaking like this, I'm not talking to men who are already in the truth and, you know, people who believe. I'm talking about like most of my videos is really for new people. You know, I try I try to keep it simple as possible. So it's really for the newer believers, because I'm trying to get the hell up out of here. Now, at the end of the day, we on the Lord's time. I'm just trying to help. The Lord bless me to be able to teach. You know, I'm just trying to help me. I'm trying to get the hell up out of here. So the Lord said that uh, that this gospel should be preaching to all the world that the end shall come. You know, so that means it could be somebody watching that's part of the elect, but they're not sealed yet. And he's pro and he or she is prolonging. All right. We, hey, now pray to the Lord to, to, to get this understanding, man. We get the hell up out of here. Ain't you tired of this? So. See, now the, the hoary head, which is the gray head, is a crown of glory if it be found in the way of righteousness. But so just because you see a man or a woman with gray hair don't mean that they are crown of glory. It don't mean that they have wisdom either. Matter of fact, I think of, what's that, Job 32 and 9? Great men, uh, I, 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 can't, I, I guess I could use this. Great men are not always wise, neither do the age understand judgment. That's the part I want. Neither do the age understand judgment. Just because you got gray hair don't mean that you wise. All right? 
So now let's get into some prophecy. This is why the Lord said this. It said, remember now the creator in the days of your youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when you shall say, I have no pleasure in them. So the, the evil days is drawing nigh every day. Each day we're getting closer to the evil day. So, you know, your parents, your, your, your grandparents, or your favorite aunt or uncle, this truth is not for them. You can mention it to them, but you, I'm pretty sure you have. I have. I haven't seen nobody converted to Yahweh Shah. They still go to church. So it says, while the sun or the light or the moons or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain, because all of this represents the light to the truth. And the Lord is about to take the men off the street. They already, you know, in the works of censoring free speech. So it's going to be real dark out here. No light going to be out here whatsoever. But also that's the spiritual aspect, but the literal aspect, you know, the scriptures say that the day of the Lord should be darkness and no brightness in it. And then it says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong man shall bow themselves and the grinder cease because they are few and, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. See? So, yeah, that means that no jobs, no hope, perplexity. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, you jobs, and he shall raise, rise up to the voice of the bird. All right? Because there ain't going to be no traffic going on. A man should desire to go into a city, should not be able. You ain't going to hear no semi-trucks. You ain't going to hear no loud-ass trucks. You ain't going to hear no cars. You're going to hear the birds chirping. All right? And all the daughters of music should be brought low. That's already happening. Because Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, all of them harlots, their music is horrible. Now, you know, rap in general is horrible. But when you listen to these women, they really pushing harlotry. That's what I call it. Harlotry. And also, you know, just no lack of self-respect, man. So, um, so to end it on this. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put off not from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth in your security and you should be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So, you know, this ain't the time to be pussyfooting around. This ain't the time to be wavering. This ain't the time to think that, oh, yeah, the Lord ain't going to come in my time. I got time to continue to be a demon. Seek you the Lord while he may be found, man. So all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom.